What's going on everybody? We're back on the homestead. Just got uh, back in from Galveston uh, late yesterday. Uh, yesterday was Easton's birthday. So y'all uh, leave him a happy birthday in the comments. Uh, we got back, had to go to a party at Mimi's house and uh, then got in and got some sleep. Uh, as probably a lot of you parents know, going on vacation uh, for the parents isn't always uh, restful. You know, we spend a lot of time you know, getting ready and a lot of, you know, getting everything going while you're there and, and doing activities and then getting home and unpacking. And I loved it. We had a great time, but definitely came back uh, uh, as tired as it when I left. So, and Shannon's the same way. She's actually inside taking a nap right now. I slept in a little bit this morning. She got one, got groceries, and now she came home and took a nap. So, but uh, taking Easton and his buddy to see the Minions movie tonight and uh, going to take them to dinner. But uh, I'm gonna try to get a few chores done before that. It's the heat of the day right now. Um, the Our in-laws, my mother-in-law was here taking care of the animals while we were gone. Um, so she did a great job, but the pigs need feed and I need to water them and a few things like that. So we're gonna do that real quick before we go. So we're gonna try to knock that out real quick before we go to the movie. We, uh, as y'all saw in one of our older videos, we bought some bulk feed. Got one here, and as you can see, we timed it about perfect because these pigs go to the slaughterhouse, to the processor, in one, two, three days, four days. Uh, so, unfortunately, they're not eating much with this big heat wave we've got. Um, it's just really slowed them down on their eating. Not sure how much they're gonna weigh. Hoping they hit market weight, which is 250. There's one, there's one of them I'm pretty sure will. Other two, it's gonna be close. That water coming out of there right now is about, I bet it's, it's cooled off now. It's, when it first starts coming out of there, it's hot. All of our watermelons over there burn up. We've lost almost all the garden trying to salvage what we got left. I know it's not ideal to water in the heat of the day, but like I said, we just got back in out of town from Galveston on our family trip. And it's one thing we didn't have my mother-in-law do was water the garden, it was just um, didn't want to create too much work for her and it was already we've already lost a lot of it anyway So I'm just trying to salvage my tomato plants uh, When we got in yesterday evening, I I watered them all And I'm gonna water them now real quick um, And my, I got a few pepper plants. I'm hoping to save it does look like we got a, a Some grasshoppers have gotten in there. Uh, my okra plants look good before we left but one of them the leaves are completely missing off of it so Got to get in there and put some seven dust on those, some maybe some diatomaceous earth on them. And hopefully save those uh, okra too. But all the cantaloupe, uh, except for one plant over there, all the watermelon, all the cucumbers are are gone. They're just burning up. But we've been we've been watering them a lot, but just can't can't keep up with you know 100 literally 113 114 degree days uh, just 
you just can't keep them dry, uh, enough water on them to make them live. All right, y'all, got a few errands done. The pool got a, getting a little bit of algae in it from all the heat. Shannon's been struggling to keep it, um, to keep it from turning green. This uh, heat just zaps it really bad, but. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go in, get in the shower, get ready to take Easton and his buddy on Easton's birthday afternoon uh, movie and dinner trip and uh, catch up with y'all tomorrow. Why don't that one's the little flapper stay out? I'm going to show you all a little trick today. Some of y'all may know it, some of y'all may not, so figured I'd share. Um, something that we use here on our homestead every day, all day long, um, and, and we've talked about it before in other videos, tend to take for granted sometimes, is water. Um, we have, uh, we bought like commercial grade water hoses. Uh, we plan to, at some point to actually plumb water all the way down to where our animals are at, um, but that's just not, um, not on, high on our priority list right now. So we utilize, uh, like I said, commercial grade uh, water hoses that we buy. Most of them we buy at Harbor Freight. That's the cheapest place I've found to buy them. Uh, but they still um, break and stuff. So I've got uh, two of them here. Uh, this one is, the green one is a 50 footer. And then the tan one is a 100 footer. And I, like I said, both those were uh, bought at Harbor Freight. This one, the thread came off the end of it, as you can tell right there. And then this one, Shanna was actually watering with it and it, she had the nozzle on the end of it and the water hose got a big bubble in it and it bust on her and <clears throat> she had just turned the water on and as, as you know if you live in a hot area um, when you turn the water on um, and it's hot outside you gotta let that water run for a second before you water the animals or water your plants or anything like that and so she, would, she turned the water on and went down and uh, was gonna grab the nozzle and let the water out 
and that big um, there was a big bubble in the, in the in the hose, and then right as she went to move back, it boom, it busted and sprayed her on her leg and and on her on her on her back a little bit and uh, burned her a little bit. Uh, so, um, and that's just from the heat. I think that day it was one of those days. It was in the, in the hundred and hundred and teens. I don't know exactly how how hot it was, but. They burned her pretty good, uh, so but she's all right. I mean, it wasn't like a, she didn't have to go to the doctor or anything, but it was just a, kind of scared her a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all how to fix these. Um, if you go to Home Depot, if you have one that gets cut in the middle, you know, like if somebody ran over it with a what with a lawnmower or something, uh, which does happen occasionally or something like that, they have splice kits or they have the end kits that you can buy at Home Depot. This is one of the end kits. It's one of the more expensive ones. They have a little bit cheaper one, but I went with this one that has uh, this little metal piece that clamps down. Um, the cheaper ones have like a hose clamp. Um, but all you do is you uh, cut the water hose and then they insert this piece, the, sil the, the gold piece, into the hose and then this uh, metal piece clamps down onto it and it replaces that end. So this is like six bucks. Uh, versus those tan water hoses. I was looking at them at Harbor Freight yesterday and they're about 40 bucks. Um, so $6 to extend the life of the hose versus 40 bucks. Uh, with uh, inflation and everything going on right now, we're trying to save money wherever we can. So uh, we're gonna put these on there. So I'll show you how to do it. All right, y'all, first thing, pocket knife or some kind of knife, you gotta cut the bad end off there. Obviously do it carefully and do it as square as possible I mean you don't want to cut it you don't want to cut it like at an angle like this you want to cut it like that straight like that one down Shanna tried to patch this as you can tell with the tape but you can feel where the big bubble was in it I'm just gonna cut this whole thing off there. If I if I take this tape off there, it's really sticky, gluey tape, and it'll be a mess. So we're just gonna cut that whole thing off. Yeah. So these uh, hoses, I, I believe this one's a five eighths and this one's a three quarters, but those the kits um, actually accommodate. accommodate so you see here. The kits actually accommodate either size. Um, on the on the three quarter one, it's going in there super easy, and then on the five eighths one, it takes a little bit of pressure to put it in there. Um, we'll we'll put them on there and test them out. So I just loosen this off. Loosen off a little bit more. When you tighten them on there, kind of got to tighten one side, and then the other side, and kind of go back and forth. There's a three quarter inch. Can't tighten it down quite as tight as you can tell there. I had to get a pair of pliers and kind of pinch down on it to get it started. That was a little bit bigger. That's why. And then here's the five eighths one. And it's uh it's on there just about perfect. So here's another money saving tip for anybody on a small farm or homestead. Uh tarps, harbor freight's a place to go. Um 
This tarp's five, five foot by seven foot, and it was less than $4. That's without a coupon or anything at Harbor Freight. We go through these quite a bit here. The one we have right now that's over the silky pen actually came from our meat chickens, and it's in pretty rough shape. So I'm gonna change it out, put a new one on there. They don't have a lot of shade throughout the day, so this is helping them just be able to get out and move around a little bit and not be in the direct sun. Looks a whole lot better than that other one did. That other one was in rough shape. Like I said, it was covering our meat chickens for quite a while. But as soon as, as soon as I got it put up, they came back out. They like being out during the day and this gives them a little bit more shade and it's a cheap way to do it. All right, y'all, in the kitchen with, tell them what happened to you. Crippled. <laughs> so apparently when you get over the age of 40, which I'm 42, so I can speak for this, sneezing, is a what is an extreme sport because when you sneeze you throw your back out so i threw my back out sneezing yesterday and i literally cannot move so <laughs> but she's still doing chores well i have to i can't just sit around i've been trying to get her to sit around but she won't so because it's not fair to everyone else that i have to that i get to just sit around while everyone else does chores I've tried. I'm not going to fight her anymore on it. Um, in the kitchen, and we're going to make some quail. These are our quail that we raised. Which is kind of cool. Yep. Uh, got three of them. We, in, in the, this particular package had three in it. So, as you guys saw, as y'all saw in a recent video, we brined them for over 24 hours. Yeah. Um, so, that was that's half the battle, if not more. All I'm gonna do, if, if you watch our channel, you know we love Lowry Season Salt. That's our go-to for pretty much anything. And we're going to just put seasoning on each side of them. And then this time of year, when it's really hot outside, we cook a lot in our little toaster oven. So I've got it set and preheated right now, and they'll fit in there just perfect. So we're gonna put them in there. I'm gonna cook them on like 225 for a couple hours, probably. Um, low and slow it's a it's we don't usually eat till about six and it's 3 30 now so should have plenty of time Did to you get tell them why we use that oh well it, yeah this time i told them we use it this time of year the reason is because our big oven it just heats the house up it's um, a gas stove it's a gas stove and it definitely heats the house up um it, if we were to turn it on and leave it on for a couple hours it'd heat the house up a few degrees if not more so we can try to avoid using it um if at all possible this time of year so all right i'm gonna season them up and we're gonna put them in there Wow. Sorry, I was in thought. So now how do you get it to stay? Yeah. 
All right, y'all. <clears throat> I know some people are gonna ask, so I'm gonna give y'all the skinny. So this is cream cheese with shredded cheese mixed into it, homegrown bacon wrapped around Eckridge, Eckridge sausage. And just make a little cup with it and then put the cream cheese in there. We saw this on a reel or TikTok or something. And uh, I sent it to Shanna and she was wanting to try it. So we've never tried them before. So we're gonna taste test them here in just a second and let y'all know how they how they come out. Here's the done. Dunzo. So while we're waiting for those to cool off, get some light on here. Quail is done. Time to taste test. A little bit. That leg, there's not much meat on there. Pretty small. Good. It's a little tough. I'm gonna try the breast. Here's some. This is breast meat. That's really good. Reason here. He's gonna try some. It's like dove. It does. It's good. Very similar to dove. Mm -hmm. So, full disclosure, I may have cooked them too long. It's a little dry, but the flavor is really, really good. I think if I'd have cooked them a little less, um, it would be a lot more moist, but it's pretty kind of dry. So I always, especially with like chicken and poultry and pork, I tend to cook it more than I need to um, because some people, are worried about it so um are you gonna try it babe nope <laughs> you're not gonna try it no what else is like all right Ethan's gonna try yeah that's enough i mean that's plenty Ethan's trying quail i mean it's not horrible <laughs> It's not horrible. But I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't eat it all the time, but it's, it's not horrible. All right. That's because he's a, the pickiest eater of the family. By far. So the fact he tried it's a big deal, though. Mm -hmm. nope. I mean, I've heard um, that, like, duck um, doesn't taste good. And you said that tastes like duck. I mean, it's not horrible. Dub. So. Dub. It's not horrible. So. <laughs> all right, y'all. It's finally cooled off. Sausage. Bacon, cream cheese. Um, I've already tried one and they're really good, but I want to show y'all. It's fantastic. It's fat free, healthy. You gotta try them, do a little bit. So, I could seriously eat. So I sent this to a friend of mine, a picture of him, and he called them pig shots. Um, I don't know if that's what they're called or not, but uh, we'll go with that for now. But I could seriously eat those until I am sick. They are really, really, really good. But they're really fatty and rich because of the cream cheese and the bacon. So uh, y'all give them a try. Comment below if you ever had them. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all again.